Hello everyone and welcome to another Carlos video. In this video I'm going to be showing you a process which has been historically very challenging to do on a Kadas SBC. And that process is changing the operating system. So in this video I'm going to show you a super simple method for changing the operating system without using a PC, without using an SD card, just using a single Kadas Vim. Are you amazed? Let's go! Okay, so over here I'm running Ubuntu on my Vim 1. The first step is to open up a terminal emulator. Then check if we are online by pinging 1.1.1.1. Okay, we are online. Next, type the following command to see the available OS images for your Kadas SBC. curl sfl dl.kadas.com slash dot mega pipe sh dash s dash dash l As you can see, some images are for Vim1, others for Vim3, etc. The same command with the dash h flag will bring up the online help. It is important to specify your SOC ID, otherwise krescue will be unable to boot. Now copy the command, typing in Vim1, then specifying the location to install krescue2. In our case, I will be using the tab autocomplete command to install it to the eMMC as I don't have an SD card. A word of caution, this step is irreversible and will erase your eMMC storage. Once the shell script has been completed, type reboot and your Vim SBC will enter krescue. Before continuing, ensure that your Vim is connected to the web via Ethernet. Kirescue does not work with Wi-Fi at this time. To check if your Vim SBC is online, go to option 6, Device Info, and look for an IP address under Ethnet. Once online, use your keyboard or remote control to select option 2, Image Write to EMMC. Select Downloads then check online images list. Right now I feel like playing some retro games so let's install Laka for Vim 1. Select it by pressing enter and then press download. Downloading will occur in the background and you can see the progress by manually refreshing the GUI. If downloading is taking a long time, you can select option 5, get fun. Play several rounds of Tetris while you wait or watch ASCII Star Wars. Once you've had enough Tetris, return to the image installation menu and select Laka. Once downloaded, it should show the install button. Simply press enter to install it to your eMMC. This installation process should take around 70 seconds to write 900 megabytes of data. Once writing is complete, Crescu returns to the root menu and you'll need to select reboot. There we go! Laka is booting up. Wasn't that so easy? So, there you have it. Laka was installed in the Vim 1 SBC in under 5 minutes. In summary, all you need to do to replicate our process is shell access to your Vim SBC. So your SBC could be running Ubuntu, it could be running OpenWRT, or even Corelec, right? And once you have this shell access, a single command allows you to download Crescu, and then use Crescu via the online updating menu to download a new image and then install this into your Vim SBC. Do note that if you're a Windows user and are unfamiliar with a the shell, then please use the standard method of downloading a Crescu image from our server, burning it to an SD card with something like Etcher, and then using the standard process of inserting it into your Vim and booting up using the mask ROM mode. But for everyone else who runs Ubuntu or Unix-like systems, this process is a convenient way of changing your OS in a snap. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.